Well, here's a big question. Will the EU collapse? A uh, few institutions here in Britain attract such strong opinion, both positive and negative, as the European Union. And as we've learned from Brexit, some people love it, others hate it. Similarly, there are widely varying views about whether or not it has a prosperous future or, or will it collapse. Okay, I look at both possibilities in, the, in this video. Okay, so let's take a look at those who believe that yes, it will certainly collapse. Uh, first, for an increasing number of countries, the level of interference and extent of power centralization in Brussels, it, it's becoming harder and harder to take. And this will eventually result in withdrawal movements similar to Brexit. The discomforts held not only at regional level, like the Catalans and Basques in Spain, and the Northern Italians in Italy, the Bretons and Corsicans in France, the Scots in the UK, the Bavarians in Germany, the Flemings in Belgium, but even the Italians as a nation. That's owing in large measure to the virtual bankruptcy of its banking sector and the extreme unlikelihood that it'll get a bailout from Brussels. And once that all starts, there's going to be an unstoppable tidal wave of withdrawal and ultimate collapse of the regime in Brussels. Uh, second, the EU can no longer claim that it is managing the migration question adequately. Countries in the eastern border of Europe, uh, formerly eastern bloc countries, traditionally run by hard men <laughs> who are less sympathetic to the plight of refugees uh, and who are less and less uh, willing to accept inward migration from the Middle East. And similarly, Italy has struggled with migration across the Mediterranean. The, the fact is that for reasons of both political instability and economic hardship, as well as climate change, these waves of immigration from the Middle East and from Africa will never stop. Um, the EU is floundering and eventually states will have to take control for themselves. And finally, the problems surrounding the euro simply won't go away. Eventually, the more prosperous and fiscally conservative nations in the north of Europe will refuse further financial support for the more financially challenged nations of the Mediterranean, especially Spain, Greece, and Italy. That's starting to happen now. Uh, and when that really gets going, there will be little incentive for the poorer nations to remain. They will withdraw, restore their own currencies. We call that re-denomination and return to the old days of devaluing currencies to solve their macroeconomic financial problems. All of these forces are terminal for the EU and nothing can stop them. Well, what about those who say, no, it will not collapse. Uh, it has a future. <laughs> First, they cite history. The EU has lived through interminable crises and challenges and and it's not only survived but it's grown in strength and influence even now there are more countries wanting to join uh, it's an attractive place it has a strong future uh, the eu has brought a uh, number of major benefits to all member nations and their citizens it has eased travel and tourism it's universalized the provision of health services for tourists it's kept down the cost of mobile telephone services for travelers and so forth and so on member nations and their citizens will not give up these benefits lightly and finally deep down everyone knows that the reason for european integration is to lessen the likelihood of war among member nations that's why it was set up in the first place and the fundamental soundness of this argument still prevails just read history the eu will live on indefinitely well what's my take on all of this well, I must acknowledge that the attractiveness of secession from the EU, which obviously a number of member nations are said to be contemplating, must be seen as questionable, given the whole problems that have beset the whole Brexit process. It's become interminable, fractious, in many respects all-consuming for those managing it, something that most nations are probably reluctant to confront. So the question of EU survival, in my view, comes down to the future for the euro. 
Hey, look, uh, as an example, most obese men don't get serious about dieting until their cardiologist <laughs> tells them that their lives are at risk from their bad habits. So similarly, if economic shambles start to take place because of ill-conceived efforts to save the euro, if nations finally decline to stop subsidizing the South, if investors in public sector bonds go on a buyer strike and demand higher rates of interest, if all of these things begin to happen, the whole edifice is sure to crumble. And in my mind, it's only a question of time. Economic collapse will engender a collapse of the EU. Well, that's how I feel about it. And hey, this issue is really a big one. So you, you need to have a point of view. And you've heard both sides as well as mine. So take a view. And if you like this one, please give me a like and subscribe, comment, and all of that sort of thing. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.